What's going on everybody, my name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be discussing an injury report for the Bulls and the Phoenix Suns as well as discussing... I guess the potential issues we could have against the Phoenix Suns. I, I truly believe out of all the West Coast trips, uh, the, the entire West Coast trip and all the games that we actually have, you know, the three games that we do have, this will be the hardest challenge for the Chicago Bulls. And Phoenix are not necessarily playing the most amazing basketball, so that will give us, an, I guess, an opportunity to take advantage of that. But with that being said... I think that team just in general, whether they're playing well or playing poorly, causes issues for the Chicago Bulls, and that is what we need to discuss in this video. Before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new, and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls, their, their upcoming game against the Phoenix Suns, and who is likely to win that game. Now... Let's quickly dive into the injury report. There's not too much to talk about here. So obviously we know Zach Levine is going to be out. He's going to be out for at least a week. He might be able to play towards the end of the West Coast trip, but I'm thinking he's going to return against the Toronto Raptors, where he funnily enough got injured, uh, and play that game. I think that's probably when he's going to be. his return will be. Maybe it'll be a bit later. But he is traveling for this West Coast trip, so we'll see how that fares. Maybe he's just traveling to enter LA. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to make speculations here. But Zach Levine is out. We've got Patrick Williams listed as probable to play with a right ankle sprain, I believe. Um, again, he's played the last couple of games, so I expect him to play in this one as well. Again, I just don't see a reason why he wouldn't play unless things get significantly worse over the course of a couple of hours. And the same goes with Andre Drummond, who has lower back spasms. He is also listed as probable to play against the Phoenix Suns. So, yeah, uh, with, with Andre Drummond, again, it just seems like it's a pretty bad, painful experience these days. But he's able to play. He dominated in the last game against the Memphis Grizzlies. Was one of the best players on the court. Hopefully, he can have the same type of impact against the Phoenix Suns. Then you look to the Phoenix Suns uh, side of things. There's not too much to talk about there. They're coming into this game fairly healthy. That Damian Lee, who I believe has a right knee injury, if I'm not mistaken, is out to the end of the season. So hopefully he can you know, recover soon and be able to return as soon as possible. But yeah, he's not going to be playing in this game against the Bulls. And again, he won't be playing against the Bulls for the rest of the season, essentially. Even if he does come back at some point towards the late end of the season, he won't be facing the Bulls. And Bol Bol, ladies and gentlemen, was listed as out against his previous team. I think they played the Pacers before us, if I'm not mistaken. But he doesn't actually specify that... It, it doesn't specify he's out against the Bulls, but ESPN still has him on the injury report. So there might not be an update yet, and that could be a game-time decision. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. But that's the injury report. We got that done in about three minutes. There's not much to talk about in that regard. Both teams are going to come into this game fairly healthy. Some may argue Zach Levine is a big miss. There will be other people, probably louder and more vocal, suggesting that Zach Levine is not a big miss. I personally think, especially if we're going to struggle scoring-wise, that Zach Levine will be a massive miss. If we can find our way to score the ball efficiently, then... Maybe we could be able to get the job done against Phoenix. But what are the problems when we face the Phoenix Suns? We've already faced them one time this season, and we did end up losing the game. We don't often do very well against the Phoenix Suns. So how can we, get, I guess, do a better job this time around? And honestly... It's not going to be easy, ladies and gentlemen, especially with all of the guys that are available to play for them. Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Yusuf Nurkic. The big four, I guess, for them. They are definitely a threat for the Chicago Bulls. So there's a couple of things I want to dissect in how we can, I guess, get an advantage here. First things first, we need to really, really identify how we are going to guard Kevin Durant. Now, at the end of the day, the reason why I'm specifically mentioning Kevin Durant is because this team is a small team. The Chicago Bulls are a small team. And Kevin Durant is basically a 6'11 player that has the size advantage over most of the guys on this Bulls team and could basically move like a guard and shoot like an elite player. He is an elite shooter, not like. He is an elite shooter. He's an elite player. He's one of the best players in the league. How can we make life difficult for Kevin Durant? Are you just going to chuck AC on him like we did in the first game and just hope that he can become more of a nuisance and that could throw Kevin Durant off his game? And then, if you're able to do that successfully, Kevin Durant's still going to have a good game. It's just that he might have a game that is fairly uncomfortable for him. How do you move to a guy like Devin Booker, who's cooked us constantly 
as a individual, let alone as the Phoenix Suns team and the leader of that Phoenix Suns team? How do you guard a guy like Devin Booker? Let's not forget Bradley Beal has also had fairly good games against the Chicago Bulls in the past. I wouldn't necessarily, I can't remember his game against the Bulls this season. I'm pretty sure he played his debut game against us this season. Um, I don't think he did very well, but again, that was a long time ago. I'm assuming they'll be just fine heading into this point of the season and whatnot. So again, there's a lot of guys to guard, and I don't necessarily know if we have all the assets there to guard those guys, especially since I've really had some doubts about the defensive end for the Chicago Bulls for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, sure, we, we stopped Memphis from scoring a huge amount of points, but Memphis had a lot of guys out. We're going to be versing pretty much... One of the best, I guess, scoring teams in terms of on paper in the NBA. How are we going to be able to stop that? I really don't know. That's going to be a big problem for the Chicago Bulls. I also think the one of the most critical points of this game against the Phoenix Suns is winning the center battle, ladies and gentlemen. Yusuf Nurkic is a fantastic center for the Phoenix Suns, and he fits them to a T, I believe. But Vucevic and Drummond are also two very well-respected centers. And I think in the last game, we saw... I guess, between Yusuf Nurkic, or at least the Yusuf Nurkic on Portland last season, Vooch had a better game. And I don't really remember the battle that they had the first time around, but I think that's going to be a test. Can we win the center battle? I think that will be a big indicator of who wins the game as well. Because I feel like, you know... If we can attack the paint, we could probably win this game. If we fall in love with the three-point shot, we will probably lose this game because we're just not a reliable three-point shooting team every single night. It's going to be hard. But again, the defensive uh, battle on, you know, the center battle and stuff of that nature, can we get more defensive rebounds? Can we get more offensive rebounds? Can Drummond and Vucevic dominate that, dominate that painted area like we did against Memphis? If those things can turn out to be accurate and we can see you know those things happen for the Chicago Bulls that's going to put us in a prime position to win the game as well not to mention you know foul trouble could be a big indicator as well will guys like Kevin Durant Devin Booker Bradley Bill be in foul trouble will it be us because we love to foul as well the Bulls will guys like AC get into foul trouble very early will Patrick Williams get into foul trouble very early you're assuming I'm just assuming this. We're going to begin the game with Patrick Williams guarding Kevin Durant and Alex Caruso guarding Devin Booker, and we're going to trust Kobe White on Bradley Beal. That's what I think we're going to see entering this game. It's just a bold prediction. I don't know the accuracy of that. But if one of those guys gets into foul trouble, does that spoil the rest of the plan for the Chicago Bulls? It's not going to be an easy game. It's definitely a tough challenge. I do have my fears of worries coming into this game, but look, there's always a chance to win. I think the Bulls have shown enough character about themselves to at least put up a fight. Not only in the first game against Phoenix, but this game upcoming, I think we're going to show a fight against the Phoenix Suns. But the question is, will that fight be enough? Will guys like Kevin Durant prove to be, I guess, the difference in the game? You know, a great player in his own right. Or can the Bulls and their collective team unity, because we've seen Bulls have seven, eight players enter double figures constantly these days. Will that be the key to winning the game for the Bulls? We'll have to wait and see. Again, even guys like Okoji, I think is going to be a massive threat. He cooked us in the last game that we played against him. So we've got to be very careful. Again, it's not going to be an easy game. And there's going to be problems all around the court. Let's see what happens. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a follow. And or subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next Chicago Bulls related video. And watch along. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.